Okay, so NVIDIA just dropped their Game Ready and Studio Driver 576880, and this thing is packed with bug fixes for games and regular apps. Plus, it's got support for new stuff. The big headlines here are better performance for new games using DLSS 4 and path tracing, and a massive boost for creative apps like Stable Diffusion 3.5, which is reportedly seeing 70% better performance and 40% less VRAM use, thanks to some tech wizardry. But Honestly, the most anticipated fix in this driver is for that super annoying DisplayPort 1.4 monitor flickering issue, especially for those with the newer 50 series graphics cards and DisplayPort 2.1 monitors. This has been a huge headache for months. So getting this resolved is a massive relief for a lot of people. It's fixed flickering black screens when alt tabbing and improved G-Sync behavior. Plus they even squeezed in some acoustic improvements for the RTX 5090 FE, making it quieter at idle. However, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. While a ton of bugs got squashed, everything from crashes in Dune Awakening and EA Sports FC 25 to visual glitches in Dragons, Dogma 2, and Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut. Finally, that lighting bug is gone. Some problems are still hanging around. Cyberpunk 2077 photo mode crashes with path tracing. Battlefield 2042 still has artifacts and the DXVK 32-bit crash on 50 series cards still isn't fixed, which is pretty frustrating for some users. Plus that RTX smooth motion feature for 40 series cards is still in the works, feeling like vaporware to impatient users. Overall, user opinions are mixed. Many are celebrating the critical fixes, especially for that DisplayPort issue, but a fair number are frustrated with NVIDIA's pace on other long-standing problems. It's a complex beast, these drivers, with billions of hardware and software configurations, so perfect drivers are pretty much impossible. Uh, the best advice is to update cautiously, use tools like DDU for a clean install, and make sure you're sending direct feedback to NVIDIA when you find issues because that's the only way these problems get prioritized and hopefully eventually fixed. If you've upgraded to this driver, please chime in and let us know how it went.